A lot of people say, why are you doing a mission when there's a need at home? Charity starts at home and you help at home. That's really, really important. At the same time, going to a different part of the world and providing care to people who never had access to it, and they're in the circumstances due to no fault of their own, it changes your outlook on life, on the world. And every time I do one of these trips, it really helps me um, understand what's important. So that was a six-year-old child who had a snake bite about three years ago. When the snake bit him, it took out a chunk of his flesh and he had a band-aid put on by a local doctor. And when the band-aid was put on, they actually put it too tight and his thumb was stuck to his palm. So his hand looked like this. So what we did was I released the contracture and we put skin grafts on to give him mobility of his thumb back and his thumb was movable at the end of the surgery. His parents actually came all the way from the Serengeti, which is about 2,000 kilometers away, and they took a bus and did this whole journey to get here. And it was just, just profound to be able to help them and see the tears in the parents' eyes after they saw the child. I think the hardest thing here is wanting to do a lot, but understanding there's limitations. You know, when you do surgery back home, Oftentimes, half of what it turns out like is the care you deliver after. And I think the, one of the hardest things is not being able to follow my patient. That's so important to me, to be there for that continuity. The local doctors here seem really, really nice. They're caring people. They do it from a good place. You know, because you, you, you spend a lot of time, a lot of energy doing these cases. And not being able to really see the final outcome is hard. <laughs> the one cleft case that really stands out was an eight-year-old girl that took care of. She's had a cleft for eight years, which is really unheard of in America. No friends, nobody interacts with her, very quiet, very um, to herself. And not only is it is it a, something that's cosmetic, but it's functional. Because with the cleft, you know, they can't purse their mouth. They can't eat sometimes well in social settings. Their teeth are always showing. It really makes them stand out. So fixing it, just, you know, you give them back as close to a normal face as possible. It's a big deal. And we did the surgery, and the next day I saw her running around playing soccer with her friends. So that was just amazing. You know, she got her life back. People here, they have food, they have shelter, some electricity and water. And it's they have, and they have happiness. And to see that, that's sometimes something you don't have because you worry about all these other new world problems. And when you see it, this is all they need to be happy. So when I have all these things, why can't I be happy? Why aren't I happy? So I think that's something I take away from, from the people I care for here. <laughs>